In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to save some time in Ableton Live by creating a project to use as a template for your DJ mixes. Now here I have a brand new project just open, nothing's been changed. And what I'm going to do is set it up briefly so that I can then use it as a base for my mixes in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this MIDI channel and I'm going to in insert another audio track. Then I'm going to go into my audio effects and bring an EQ3 into track 1 and 2 as well. Next thing I'm going to do is put a compressor on the master channel and set it to what I usually like. So 3.0 ratio, 0.10 millisecond attack, 50 millisecond release, and a threshold of minus 35. Next, I'm going to switch modes and go into the arrangement view, and I'm going to create a few automation lanes. So for example, I'm going to set my track volume as an automation lane for both tracks. And I'm also going to go in and set the gain low on each track as an automation lane as well. Now since there is sort of a, you know, there's not a lot of space here on the screen, I'm going to close this and I'm going to decrease the size of these lanes just a tad. And this is sort of a basic template that I'm going to use for all of my mixes. So what I'm going to do is click file and then save live set as and I'm just going to save it in you know to uh well I guess here is fine I'm just going to call it mix template okay and now every time I open up this particular project it will have these settings and I can you know add my track start automating and then once again just go to save live set as and move it to a different location so I never touch the mix template I just use it as a base and save it out. Now if you'd like to see the mix template that I use for my EMFTM podcast episodes, head over to the djpodcast.com and read the episode notes. Now it is in Ableton Live 7, so if you have 8 Live 8 it'll work, but anything below that, I'm sorry, it will not work for you.